Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll explain differentiation and integration property of Fourier transform. And to explain this, these are my agendas. Where first I'll give you statement of differentiation and integration property. Then I'll give you proof of it. And then we will solve some example where I'll explain how to apply differentiation and integration property. So let us have first agenda that is statement. So see if we have signal x of t and its Fourier transform if it is x of omega then as per differentiation property we can say differentiation of dx t by dt Fourier transform that has to be j omega into x of omega and as per integration property We can say integration of x of t dt Fourier transform that will be 1 by j omega into x of omega. So this is what differentiation and integration property and if you have multiple differentiation like d n d d n x t by dt n then Fourier transform of this will be j omega raised to n into x of omega and you have if you have multiple integration means n times integration of x of t then Fourier transform of this will be 1 by j omega raised to n x of omega so this is what about differentiation and integration property now let us derive this so let us have proof here so see the basic formula that is I will be considering inverse Fourier transform so inverse Fourier transform will gives you x of t and that is integration minus infinite to infinite x of omega e to the power j omega t d omega so this is what inverse Fourier transform formula so that will gives you original signal x of t from x of omega now I'll do differentiation and integration and I'll derive both of this property for both of that case. So let me bisect here first. Here I'll derive it for differentiation. Here I'll derive it for integration. So for differentiation, let us have differentiation of this term. So dx t by dt that is equals to now see inside integration this is x of omega so that is constant so only differentiation of e to the power j omega t dt d omega that will happen and see this is what dx t by dt if you differentiate this so x of omega into j omega into e to the power j omega t d omega now see this j omega is constant this j omega is constant so dx t by dt is equals to take it outside j omega integration minus infinite to infinite x of omega e to the power j omega t d omega now if i take inverse 
Fourier transform on both of the side. Sorry, if I take Fourier transform on both of the side, then this Fourier transform, see, our agenda is to have Fourier transform of this. So if I do inverse Fourier transform, then this will result into x of omega, right? So I can say this is what dxt by dt is equals to j omega into this is what inverse Fourier transform of x of omega. So if I take now Fourier transform of this, then you'll be finding Fourier transform of dxt by dt that will be j omega into inverse Fourier transform and Fourier transform will get cancelled and this will be x of omega. So this is what differentiation property that we have proved here. Now let us have integration property to get proved. So See, x of t is this. So, here I will be doing integration of this. Now, see, x of omega that is constant. I need to do integration of e to the power j omega t dt d omega. So, if I do this integration, you will be finding this is e to the power j omega divided by j omega d omega. So here now you see this is constant you can take it outside. integration x of omega e to the power j omega d omega. So we can say this is integration x t dt that is equals to 1 by j omega into this is what inverse Fourier transform of x of omega. So now if you take Fourier transform on both of the side, then you can say Fourier transform of integration x t dt that will be 1 by j omega and inverse Fourier transform and Fourier transform will get cancelled and it will make this to x of omega. So this is how we can prove this property. So in differentiation we need to multiply j omega, in integration we need to divide j omega. Let us have one example so it will be more clear. So see equation is find Fourier transform of signum function. So first of all let me explain you what is signum function then we can use any of these two property. So see signum function as g of n technically it is minus 1 for t less than 0, 0 for t is equals to 0 and 1 for t greater than 0. But if you see my session based on signum function where I have explained relation of signum function with unit step signal and that is 2ut minus 1. So signum function is 2ut minus 1. So now by using differentiation property I think we can easily solve this. Why the reason is if you take differentiation of signum function then you will be having del of t and we already know 
the sig uh, we already know the fourier transform of del of t and we can easily calculate this so see we can say d signum function by dt that is d by dt of 2ut minus 1 step signals differentiation that is impulse signal and constant is having 0 so this differentiation is 2 del t now Fourier transform that we know like Fourier transform of del that is unity right and for differentiation it has to be x of omega into j omega so we can apply this property so we can say for take Fourier transform So this Fourier transform that will be j omega into x of omega and this will be 2 into del t that is 1 so this will be 2. So Fourier transform x of omega of signum function that is 2 divided by j omega. So I hope that you have understood this how to have a calculation by using differentiation property. So sometimes you might be having some those terms which you don't know. So by using differentiation property this calculation will get easier. So that is how we can use differentiation property to solve problem based on Fourier transform. I hope that you understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.